Hello, everyone. We are going to start with the, the gate questions on the context-free languages. And uh, here is a table which tells you that uh, uh, what are the operations under which the context-free languages are closed. So, you can see that the closer property is according to um, context-free language. This is the part of this. And in this, union ke under, our context-free language is closed. Hai. Intersection with the regular language is closed. Hai. Intersection uh, union with the regular language is closed. Hai. Left difference with the regular language, it means that ki aap, uh, CFL ek le dije, or is ka minus regular agar kar dije, so this will also be closed. Aisa hi Concatenation bhi closed hai. Cleans closer mein ye closed hai. Reversal mein bhi hamara CFL closed hai. So in sabhi chijon ko dhyan mein rakte hue, hum aage aane wale questions ko solve karenge. Saath hi saath aapko ye bhi dhyan dena hai ki jo regular languages hai, wo union, intersection, set difference complementation intersection uh, with the regular language and then uh, the clean star and the uh, concatenation in sabhi ke under closed hain in sabhi cheezon ko dhyan mein rakhte hain aage ke questions ko solve karenge so let's take the first question this is the gate 1996 question so it says that l1 and l2 are context free languages and r is a regular set so one of the language below is not necessarily a context free language which one is that so previous jo uh, table hai usi ke hisab se isko solve karenge so l1 l2 context free languages to hame pata hai ki concatenation ke under mein jo languages hongi mane l1 aur l2 agar context free hai to inka concatenation bhi context free hoga isi tarah se l1 aur l2 agar context free hai to inka union to closed hota hai lekin intersection inka closed nahi hota hai when you take the intersection of any context free language with a regular language, so that is closed under the context free, it means this context free yoga. We have seen this in the previous table. And if you have two context free languages, ka union will be context free. Hoga. So, this is the option that I think that it is context free. Nahi hai. Yes, you can see that this is the correct option. Now, let's say this is the question. It says that which are the following definitions? below generate the language as L, where L is equals to X raised to the power N, Y raised to the power N, where N is greater than or equal to 1. So, it's asking that the three descriptions are given. This is the grammar, hai, first one, and these are regular expressions. So, which uh, part is the first and second the first and third, which X power N or Y raised to the power N generate karta hai, where n is greater than or equal to 1. So, if you look at e that e produces x, e, y. If you expansion it, so x, e, y. And then, leftmost derivation is symbol. So, we will say that x, e, y ke form expand. Karte. And then again, isko x, e, y ke form expand. And in this e, ki jagar, x, y, agar aap lene. so this is generating 4 times x and then 4 times y. This is the x power n or y power n jaisa hi generate kar raha hai aur minimum ya jo sabse short uh, generate ho sakti hai hamari string wo e x uh, x e y hai aur do length ki is pe se generate ho sakta hai minimum string jaise for example e produces x e y aur e produces x y so this is x square and y square so, the first string we generate will be x square y square. If we have x e y, but if we have e produces x y, so x power 1 or y power 1 will be produced. So, what does this mean? This is x power n or y power n is string hai, where n is greater than or equal to 1. So, option 1 is correct. Ki is ye, uh, x power n or y power n will generate. Karega. What about option 2? Option 2 is saying that it is x y. Okay, fine. So this, so this is x power 1 and y power 1. And then x plus x and y, y plus. This meaning is that uh, minimum 1 uh, minimum one x will come from Minimum 1 y will come from So if we take 1x from here, so this will be generating x, x and y, y. So this x square or y square will produce. But it is not guaranteed that x plus or y plus same number of x or y will generate. 
जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक्स प्लस जनरेट लेट से टू एक्स एक एक्स ऑलरेडी देयर है उसके बाद वाई एंड वाई प्लस जनरेट लेट से सिंगल वाई so this becomes x cube and y square so this is not satisfying x power n and y power n so ye wala option hamara correct ho gaya uh, incorrect ho gaya ki ye x power n aur y power n ko produce nahi karega now x plus and y plus bhi kuch aisi hi cheez hai ki agar aap isme se ek x aur ek y lenge to x y generate karte hain maan lete hain ki x plus se do x generate hote hain aur y plus se single x single y so this is x square y so this is also not of the form x power n and y power n So what it is saying that which of the following definitions below generate the same language as L? So this is only one. Yes, you can see that the option one is the only correct option. So this was the gate nineteen ninety five question. Let's take another one where which is saying that which of the following statement is true? If a language is context free, it can be always be accepted by a deterministic pushed down automaton. So now this is actually incorrect because Uh, अगर एक कंटेक्स फ्री कंटेक्स फ्री एक लैंग्वेज है सो so हो सकता है कि ये डिटर्मिस्टिक uh, कंटेक्स फ्री हो या फिर ऐसा हो सकता है कि ये नॉन डिटर्मिस्टिक कंटेक्स फ्री हो फॉर एग्जांपल अगर हमारे पास डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू रेस्ट टू पावर आर है सॉरी डब्ल्यू एंड डब्ल्यू रिवर्स है तो इसका मीनिंग क्या है लेट से हमने इसको ले लिया ए बी सी एंड देन सी बी ए या फिर लेट से हमने इसको ले लिया डबल ए बी डबल डबल ए बी एंड देन उसके बाद इसी को इसको हमने रिवर्स किया सो दिस इज ए बी ए ए सो डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू रिवर्स हो गया दिस इज डब्ल्यू एंड दिस इज डब्ल्यू रिवर्स सो नाउ कब तक हमें पुश करना है और किस पॉइंट से स्टार्ट करके हमें पॉप करना है ये हमें नहीं पता होगा क्योंकि इसकी क्लियरली बाउंड्रीज डिफाइन नहीं है लेकिन ये नॉन डिटर्मिस्टिक कंटेक्स फ्री है क्योंकि अगर हम बाउंड्री यहीं से सेट करेंगे तो निश्चित रूप से हम यहाँ नेक्स्ट वाला जो पार्ट होगा वहां से पॉप करना स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं तो ये जरूरी है कि हमें जानना कि ये जो डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू रिवर्स है वो कंटेक्स फ्री तो है लेकिन डिटर्मिनिस्टिक कंटेक्स फ्री नहीं है तो ऑप्शन वन इज इनकरेक्ट बिकॉज हमने ये देखा कि क्लियर बाउंड्री यहाँ पे डिफाइन नहीं हो रही है यूनियन ऑफ टू कंटेक्स फ्री लैंग्वेजेस इज कंटेक्स फ्री यस दिस इज ट्रू इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ टू कंटेक्स फ्री लैंग्वेजेस इज कंटेक्स फ्री दिस इज रॉन्ग टेबल के हिसाब से हमने देखा था कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ कंटेक्स फ्री लैंग्वेज इज कंटेक्स फ्री दिस इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग so the only correct option is option b yes this is the correct option and this is the gate 2001 question let's take another question so uh, this is the question which says that choose the correct alternative more than one may also be correct uh, and write the corresponding letters only so this was asked in the gate 1992 where then the examination used to be uh, theoretical examination or the written examination rather than the objective types so this is the uh, closed under union so then let's see what is it, uh, what this question is asking this is asking what the context free languages so context free languages are closed under union this is correct context free languages are closed under complementation this is wrong context free languages are closed under intersection this is wrong and context free languages are closed under cleans closure this is correct so according to the table humne jo table dekha tha bhi उसके हिसाब से हमने ये देखा था कि इंटरसेक्शन और कॉम्प्लीमेंटेशन में क्लोज नहीं है ऑपरेशन सो ये दोनों के बारे में पूछ रहा है तो ये मान लेते हैं कि एल वन लैंग्वेज वो कंटेक्स फ्री है लेट्स सी यू और एल टू लैंग्वेज रेगुलर है लेट्स से दिस इज रेगुलर सो they will be closed under union yes both of them are closed under union intersection regular language is closed under, under intersection but not the context free concatenation yes context free language is closed under concatenation and regular languages are also closed under the concatenation complementation no regular languages are closed under complementation but not the context free languages so option a and c are the correct options so this was the gate 1989 question Let's take another one. So let L denote the languages generated by the grammar. L S produces zero as zero and zero zero. So which of the following statement is true? So let's first understand about this grammar. So this actually produces the smallest string will be zero zero, and then further you can implement this like zero zero. So zero as zero, and this 
produces let's say zero as zero, and let's say let's say this produces zero zero. So this is zero cube and zero cube. It means zero raised to the power six is generated by this uh, grammar. So zero square. Similarly, zero power four will be generated. <clears throat> Similarly, zero power eight will be generated, and so on and so forth. So this is set up all the even length spins of comprising of only zeros. So L is zero plus. So this is absolutely wrong because zero plus means a single zero be generate or something. लेकिन हमारे तो केवल even number generate करना है. L is regular but not zero plus. So yes, L is regular language because there is no comparison required. This is only thing uh, which is to be satisfied here is that कि हमारे जो zeros होने चाहिए वो even numbers होने चाहिए. So regular है और obviously it is not zero plus. So this is correct. L is context free but not regular. So this is wrong because this is context free. Uh, this is regular. L is not context free. अच्छा कोई language अगर regular है तो निश्चित रूप से वो context free होती है. तो ये bigger circle के अंदर वो enclosed है इसलिए हम कहेंगे कि ये context अगर कोई language regular है तो निश्चित रूप से वो context free होती है. तो ये statement भी wrong है. So the only statement which is correct is second one. So this was the gate 2000 question. Thanks for watching this. We'll take another question, uh, some more questions on the gate in the subsequent lectures. Thanks for watching.